Hey YouTubers, got a video review here for you. Uh, I know it's September still, but uh, from what I've been hearing, winter's supposed to be coming about six to eight weeks earlier. Best guess on the weatherman, so we'll see. Uh, this is a review on a Mr. Heater. This is a contractor grade 30,000 BTU vent free heater. Um, now it does have a panel off at the bottom there because this is your mounting hole screws in there. Uh, and I'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, what I wanted to mention about this is it works very well. It's easy to light, uh, very quiet. It does have a fan in it and uh, has a manual off and auto switch. And I'll show you all this here in just a second. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to walk around here and I'll kind of go through what I paid and what we did and uh, where we started at. So we'll go with that. All right. Excuse the messy garage in the background. Sorry for that. Now, this heater was bought at our local Big R uh, by a family member. They got it for us. It was $200. Now, I went up to the local Big R yesterday looking at the heaters and that. These were all sold out. There was a couple natural gas models and some smaller natural gas models that were still in the store. Um, now, it is 120 volt for the little fan in there. And you can see there's your uh, auto or manual uh, off and auto there. You've got a little access door here to your valve up here. And underneath this cap here is a AA battery for your igniter. Now, what we did to hook it up was I had a street elbow to a 3 8 inch inlet there. And this is a uh, flared to threaded adapter. And then so we didn't need any tape for the flare. And then this is a Mr. Heater hose. Uh, the street elbow and the flared adapter with the threads on it were freebies from a family member and then the hose was twenty seven dollars it's a fifteen foot hose that is a worthington steel tank we bought at our local big r that was seventy nine ninety nine plus like thirty one dollars to fill it and then that is a two-stage regulator which i would recommend highly for these uh... you get more of a constant flow it does make a little bit of a noise because of the way it's flowing through it uh, that was $30 at Menards. We couldn't find that at the local Big R, so we went to Menards and picked that up. Um, so, that's basically the gist of what everything cost, you know, going down the line. Um, now, we are going to make a setup for this to hang on, which I've already built over here. It's actually out of two by fours, as you can see. And I've got the metal mount. Now I have to put a bar down here underneath to stabilize it. I got to level it out and stabilize it. And the holes that I was talking about earlier are right here and right here. Those are the other two mounting holes. So I have to put something thin enough on there to get it to sit level without blocking the thermostat. And then what I'll show you guys is how easy it is to light. Now show you the control knob here pretty easy uh, put it on pilot smash it down give it a couple seconds and you got a flame can't really see the flame on but you can kind of hear it uh, best to hold it down for about five or six seconds once it gets going you can kind of hear it all right now I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the burner kick on and that it's really quiet You'll probably hear the regulator more than you will the actual unit, so. Okay, now that's on high. That's 30,000 BTUs, and according to the booklet on this, it goes from 15,000 to 30,000. So, I'm going to turn it back off so I don't waste my gas. But you can dial it down. Okay, turn out the pilot. So that's basically you know how it works. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fan. Now that's manual. And then auto kicks on with the thermostat relay. And that so I'd probably run it on manual most of the time anyways, or auto if I'm you know in here. Depends on if I'm in here, I'd probably just put it on manual. It doesn't really matter to me. That way it'll kind of, you know, run, keep it kind of cool and that so it doesn't overheat or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, that's the review. And real quick, 
uh, you get a little placard type like thing here about lighting instructions and everything and uh, as far as I know you do get a one-year warranty on this let me get this little placard and I'll show it to you guys kind of hard to get a grip on here uh, it does have your serial number it's under my thumb there but uh, as you can see sorry about any glare there or, yeah you can see the 30,000 BTU and it shows your water column and your inlets and it tells you your uh, clearance from combustible materials so it works really well I hope this saves somebody some money because I know there's a lot of people buying these things right now but getting ready for winter obviously and this is northern Indiana so people are buying them left and right and uh, you know I figured it would save somebody some money so don't work too hard guys and gals have a good one and uh, hope everybody's getting ready for winter I ain't prepared for it really yet but I'm dreading it already so have a good one bye